Hello and welcome to my first episode of Subnautica. I am very excited to be playing this game. I have been watching a couple of videos with it. It looks amazing and I have just been wanting to play it. And recently it was my birthday and my friend Atalantis purchased it for me. And I just wanted to say that to give her a shout out because she does just she does deserve it. My intention is to play the f the game from start to finish, so completing the entire game. So if you guys are ex are excited about this series, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications to no never miss a another upload. And uh, yeah, I think we should just get started, shall we? I guess we just press play. Already now, I love the graphics of this game, just from the menu, I've not played at all. And the graphics look amazing, and the music right now is just fantastic. I love it. I love it so much. Alright, so guys, I just realized that my recording was a little bit choppy there. I apologize for that. It should be fixed now, everything should be running smoothly. I apologize for that, but now let us get into this game. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Start a new game. Oh, okay. Oh dear. Uh, survival. Crash land on a dangerous alien planet, scavenge, res scavenge resources, and manage hunger thirst to survive. Freedom like survival, but without hunger or thirst. That's boring. Hardcore survival mode with only one life. Yeah, nope, not gonna happen. Creative. Nah. Survival. I like this. Oh. Oh dear. This is not good. Spaceship is crashing. That's never a good sign of anything. Alright, we're loading, so I'll see you guys in the game when it actually starts. Okay, looks like the action is about to begin. Oh dear. This is bad. Quickly. So they escape past people? Phew. Oh, I think that's the spaceship we saw from the low. It's green. Oh dear. This is not good. I don't. I don't think this is. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think this is supposed to happen. Um, that's very. That's. Oh dear. That did not look nice whatsoever. Oof. Oh wait, we're alive. With a lot of fire. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Grab that fire extinguisher, man. Uh, I'm alive. Pick up fire extinguisher, quick. Come on. Okay. Oh. Looks like I'm putting in emergency mode, alright. I love that. <laughs> Loading. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Okay. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Press have to open or close PDA. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the escape part. Medical fabricator warning. So, what? Circuitry test failed. Secondary systems offline. Radio offline. Distress signal broadcast have failed. Flotation devices deployed. Hull integrity. Okay, well that's at least something. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, nice. Okay. Well. So we have our oxygen, I guess, down here. Yeah, oxygen. Health, food and water, I believe those are. Voice log. You have suffered minor head trauma, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what is this? Photo manager, beacon manager, life part. So I guess these are beacons around? They are no. Okay, let's let's take it one at a step at a time. I'm sure it will show us what um, what's going on here. Let's climb the ladder. Let's see what is... Ooh. Whoa. 
Oh dear. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Well, I see something over there. I don't know what that is. Okay then. Um, I'm not sure I want to jump into the water just yet. Um, hmm. I want to know what that is, but uh, let me just port again and check that radio thing. Damaged radio. I don't have a repair tool. Well, that's just great now, isn't it? What else do we have on this boat? Fabricator. Resources. That ain't useful. Use repair tool. Storage container. Let's see what we got. We got a flare. Okay, I'll take it. Got a flare. Got some filtered water. And some nutrient blood. Okay, that's good. Gonna keep the flares in here. At least one of them. Ooh, voice lock. Uh, okay, that was that. Okay. So. Okay, so blueprints. I believe you use these for crafting, I think. But, uh, you need resources as such. Okay, survival checklist. A minute is the first state if required. Take inventory of available materials. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Construct necessary survival equipment using the life parts fabricator. Check life part for damage and repair as necessary. Bro broadcast local distress signal. So I guess these are the things we gotta do. Okay, so survey the environment for threats and resources. Okay. Sustenance water. Resources. Basic materials. Okay, so we need stuff. Tools. Yeah, we need a lot of stuff. Okay. None of which I don't think we have. I guess... I don't know if I want to do this, but, uh... Well... Heh! I don't like the sound of that. Don't like the look of those. Okay, so I can enter... the thing from below. Okay. I gotta say, this game's graphics are cool. I love it. Okay, so I can only stay underwater for a certain amount of time, otherwise my oxygen is gonna, well, decrease. Okay. I'm guessing these guys are friendly. They look friendly enough. Now. Okay. I see some wreck over there. I don't know what it is, but I... Assume it's either a cliff or a wreck thing. So, um... I'm gonna try and head over there. Hopefully not die on my way over. You know what, I think it's just a cliff. Or is it? Oh, wait. Limestone. Oh yeah, I need that. Okay, cool. So it does give me a couple of hints. I need resources then. Okay, cool. I need a lot more though. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of bone thing. Okay, so it was... Oh, wait. Oxygen. Yep, good. Okay. <laughs> That's probably gonna happen a lot. Okay, what's this? Okay, so some sort of fragment. I believe I need a scanner to sc Whoa, what was that? Ah! What's that thing? I don't like this. I don't like this thing. Ow. What on earth just happened? I'm guessing I died. Okay. That gave me a minus shock. Um, okay, did I get the thing? Yes, I did. I got titanium. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got something out of that. I need... Okay. Tools. I need a repair tool. I got titanium. I need cave sulfur. And I need silicone rubber. I have no idea where to find any of that stuff. Okay, don't go near that thing again. Okay. Noted. Uh, let's see. 
Damage to a PDA hard drive has corrupted approximately 80% of sword survival blueprints. Blueprints may be really required. Blah blah. How am I supposed to find all this stuff? Also, I don't know what will happen when it turns to night time, so. Yeah, I want to be a little bit careful. Anything usable? Okay, that's usable, I believe. I don't like the look of that. Oh, it's night time. Increased local radiation levels. Oh. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Okay then. Oh, look at that. It looks so cool. Can't see anything though. Survey, so I guess I just gotta swim around in the dark. Though I do think these things do all work underwater. Let's try one. What was that? Eh. Probably nothing. <laughs> Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Atalantis wanted me to swim behind the Aurora in the first episode. And I'm gonna do that. I don't like the look of red things, usually a warning indication why there's so much of it. I think I'm being a little bit too careful. Anyways, she wanted me to go behind the, behind the Aurora, which I'll do. And uh, we'll see what happens and I'll see what resources I can gather on the way there. Doesn't look like I can take any of this stuff. Looks like the sun is coming up anyway, so um looks like I gotta swim ahead of me. If I die I'll just respawn, so no biggie. No big deal. In Minecraft they say holes always lead to adventure, some people say. But in Subnautica I think they mean just lead to chaos. Ah not that thing again. Not that thing again. Not that thing again. Okay. 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 Yeah, now what? I see quartz down there. I think. See some sort of crystal. Eat something. Yeah, I'll do that eventually. Okay, oxygen. oxygen. Yes, oxygen. Okay, I think I have quartz. I think I found some. Okay. Let's go down. I don't like the look of that blue thing, but okay. I'm going down. Let's take this. Yes. Plenty of quartz here. That's good. Gonna take a lot of it. Take. Take. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Ooh. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Okay. You know what, I guess I'm going into the cave system. Oxygen. Only problem is what the robot just said. Oxygen. This could be an issue. But I'll try. So far detected in the lower cave systems. Well, that's good for you. Oh, wait. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Okay. I don't know what all this stuff is. wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Can this help me get out faster? I have no idea. Don't tell me I'm dying just from this. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I lost some belongings, so did I now? I lost all my quartz, oh come on! Okay! Huh? I'm not done with that place. 
Well, I'm gonna continue towards the... Oh. I guess this is where I died. Okay, you know what? Not, th not that bad, I take it back. It would make sense that your stuff is actually still there. Oh, watch. Some big shock thing is gonna come and kill me or something. Okay. I got my stuff back. Oxygen. Oxygen. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna head back to my thing. Just to... Just to store things away this time. Because I actually need this quartz. And I want to keep it. Repair tool. We need cave sulfur and silicone rubber. To make silicone rubber... To make silicone rubber, we need creep mine seed cluster. You know what? I think that's the stuff. Right there. Or it's at least something. Yeah, I think that's the stuff, actually. Okay, cool. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense now. I just, I just gotta get used to the game. <laughs> I've never played this before. I've only seen videos of it. I've never played it. So, like, I need to see what's up. Okay, what's this? Creep vine. Yes, give me. Oh, awesome. Give me more of this stuff. How much do I have? Oh dear, that fills up a lot of space. Okay, you know what? Yeah, one more. Okay, that thing looks a bit... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. I'm so close. You know what, I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna get over there. Because I think it's about time we wrap up the first episode of Subnautica Let's Play Episode 1. Go behind the Aurora, she said. Okay, going around the Aurora. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Okay, yes, please. Please continue to money, sir. Okay, I don't want to be in that stuff where I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, no, I don't like this. Things get darker and darker and creepier and creepier back here. And there are sound... What is that? I think I've heard about this thing. And I think I've seen maybe something about this thing. I'm not sure. And, uh... I think I've seen enough. Technically, I'm behind the thing. It's right there. There, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need to go any closer than this. Yeah. No. I think I gotta... Yeah. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. I tell. I. Th I hope. I hope you're satisfied, cause I'm not getting any, 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 any anywhere closer to that thing. If you want me to, let me know down in the comments below. But I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm not getting any closer to that big ginormous thing, whatever that is. I got my sea thingies. I'm happy about that. This is also a game that will... Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Yes, I'll get some scanning stuff going. As I was saying, this game will require a lot of off-camera work as well, such as resource gathering and stuff like that. I'm almost back at the escape pod. I'll meet you over there. Looks like I'm hungry as well, so I think it is time to... Uh, to get some food mm. and some filtered water. Yes, that that felt good. Okay, let's get down into this thing. Fabricator, resources, basic materials, lubricant, titanium, silicone rubber. Cool. I think I need that. I'll make two of those. Oh, that's cool. Okay, awesome. Now. Personal equipment fins. Uh, hmm. 
I know where to find the stuff now, so I think I'm pretty much surrounded by the stuff. What do I need for the repair tool? Ah, cave sulfur. Hmm. I don't have cave sulfur yet. Hmm. Guess I'll have to get that for next episode. Let me just see here. Let me get some more of that. That is cool. I love it. Titanium. Let's get some more titanium. Might as well convert to all of that scrap stuff. Lubricant. I don't think we need that right now. Deployabilities. Waterproof locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. That's cool. Tools. Survival knife. You know what? I think I'll need this. I think I'll make that. Just so I feel a little bit safer. From standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Okay. That's fair, I guess. So I still need the sulfur. I still need a battery somehow. I need to make that. Um, yeah. I think the flashlight and the repair tool is next. I don't know how to make glass. And cave sulfur. Let me see here. Uh, those are all the voice logs. Let me see in the blueprints. Let me see. Glass. Okay, quartz. Wait a second, I have I have quartz. Okay. So far I love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> okay, uh, resources. Glass. Make. Awesome. Okay. I think I need more. <laughs> I think I need more. How much does it take to make one? Two? Yeah, two. Okay, makes sense. If I could just get a flashlight, that would be amazing. Okay, okay. I can't because I need the battery. Now, how to make a battery then? How do I make a battery? Battery. Acid mushroom and copper ore. I, bl I have copper. Acid mushroom, huh. Well, let me... Ooh, okay, hold on. A gem of that can be used to transport breathable air from a functional pump. Okay. Fins, standard of compressed breathable air. Does that mean it will increase my oxygen? Yes, finally. And I'll also get fins. Okay, I love this game so much. That's awesome. I respect that. Okay, so I got a knife. I can defend myself. So I think the next thing I need is gonna be um, those weird mushrooms. Because I need batteries. And I do have a bit of copper, so I need some more acids. Okay, yep, that's a lot of silicon rubber. <laughs> um. What was the deployables? Titanium. Do I have do I have more titanium? Oh wait a second, I can salvage all of this. Ah, titanium four. Yes. Need more of that good titanium. Unpowered. What? Solar power cell. I guess they recharge then. Okay. Uh, well, I was gonna use it to make... Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it an episode for today. Wow, that is amazing. I love the graphics in this game. Alright, so we're gonna call it an episode today. We did a lot of progress, I think. Hopefully it's all got me to see what, I, what you wanted me to see. And see my reaction to that big thing. Um... We got pretty far, I think. We discovered a lot of stuff, and I learned a lot of stuff as well. And we'll definitely be continuing in the next episode, which I'm really excited to be recording next time. So I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, share it with your family, everybody. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and enable those notifications. And I hope to see you next time. I'm probably going to be doing some off-camera mining and stuff. Uh, or resource gathering, rather, and maybe make some floaty 
uh, storage thing for now that I can use. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in episode 2 and in the rest of the content that I make. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.